Today, we are taking you on a deck-by-deck -deck tour of the Celebrity Millennium. Come check out the oldest ship and the smallest ship in the Celebrity Fleet. We are starting our tour of the beautiful Celebrity Millennium here at the back of the ship on deck number 12. Deck number 12 houses the rooftop terrace, which is partially a movie theater. They call it an alfresco movie theater. You can see the screen there. And then there is a ton of comfortable seating up here and these little cabana areas that are complimentary during your stay here on the Millennium. We're gonna take a walk on the upper decks here. You can see you've got a couple more of these cabanas or casitas with some really nice seating up here. This is a great place to come and catch great views of the location that you are. We are currently on a 12 night Japan cruise. I'll let you guess in the comments which port we are at, but we are in the country of Japan. You see some lounge chairs up here and directly behind those chairs, you do have the celebrity sports court. So this is, of course, a full basketball court. They'll do a lot of different activities up here, including pickleball during your cruise. So if you are looking for activity and action, that will be up here towards the back of deck number 12. We're gonna take the stairs down here to deck number 11. Again, you can see a lot more chairs stacked up in front of me, as well as chairs lined there on the edge of the deck. This is a very quiet place to come to if you are looking for a spot on the ship to just get away and relax. Now to my left, you will have an entrance into the deck 11 stateroom. So you follow that red path, which is the jogging and walking track right back there to the door to get into that corridor. We're gonna take the red path here around deck number 11. Directly in front of me, you do see this glass enclosure. This is where the glass elevators are. There are three sets of elevators on the Celebrity Millennium. This is more of the mid-ship elevators. They are glass elevators, so you can see the ocean as you're going up and down. It is really quite beautiful. And there is an entrance directly in here. Past those doors is going to be Le Petit Chef. Le Petit Chef is one of several specialty restaurants here on the Celebrity Millennium. Um, if you've never done it before, it's definitely a very family-friendly dining experience where animations come to life on your plate and you've got little cartoon characters making your food. You have a beautiful view of the pool deck there. The pool deck does consist of four hot tubs and two pools. And if you were to continue to go back towards where we just came from on the other side, you do have more additional loungers. So lots of places to sit up here on deck number 11 on this beautiful ship. The Celebrity Millennium is about 90,000 gross tons. It fits just about 2,100 people. And this did get a complete gut renovation in 2019. So even though this is the oldest ship in the Celebrity fleet, it does feel refreshed because it does feel like one of the newest. We do have a bar up here with two sets of stairs that will take you down to the pool deck as well as some seating areas up here. Lots of space up here on deck number 11. And then again, you do have more comfortable lounging and seats. The stairs directly in front of me will take you up to the forward of deck number 12 and that is the retreat deck. The retreat is of course reserved for suite guests. So that is the suite area. If you are staying in a suite, there's one hot tub up there as well as a bar and then lots of seating. We're gonna take a walk inside here. See this beautiful love statue in front of me. And as soon as we do get in here, we do have men's and women's restrooms on either side of the hallway corridor. And then this is the entrance into the Sky Lounge. The Sky Lounge is one of several activity centers here, as well as venues for entertainment on the Millennium. So you see, this is a dance floor. You do have a full bar back here with beautiful glass to ceiling windows. They'll do trivias in here. They'll have concerts and pop-up performances in here, as well as a number of different types of activities. So you can see this is a nice big lounge that sets all the way at the front of the ship. And then you got the stage there for live music and entertainment. 
Walking out of the Sky Lounge, you will have the forward bank of elevators up here on deck 11 on my right, and then of course the stairs to take you down on my left. And directly in front of me, you do have Camp at Sea. So Camp at Sea will be the kids club on board. If you do have kids, you can find the times posted outside the door here. But this is of course the area where the little kids can come. Since this is a longer sailing and we are in Japan, there's not a lot of kids on the ship, but there are more teens and that club for the teens is right here. So Club X, again, you can find the schedule posted right outside the door. We found up here at the forward of deck 11. Let's hop on down to deck number 10. We have come down one deck to deck number 10, and we are here in the forward. Now in the forward, you are going to find a couple of very important spots. You've got the spa, which is a full service spa. You can get things done like massages, your nails, your hair. You can also see different specialists on board that will help you with a number of different things. You've got the Persian garden, which is of course the spa's thermal suite. So that is located here. If you have aqua class, you can take part of a lot of the amenities that come with the Persian gardens. And then you do have a full fitness center. The fitness center has a number of different pieces of workout equipment. It is quite large for a small ship of this size. It's a great gym that is open 24 hours a day. You've got ladies and men's locker rooms here right outside the spa that of course are open to anyone that needs those. We are now walking into the solarium. The solarium is the thermal pool on board that is open to all adults. This is adults only, but you can see the beautiful loungers in front of me. You've got two hot tubs up here as well as a full solarium pool. As we continue to walk, there is another included or complimentary food um, place here in the solarium, and that is the spa cafe and juice bar. Spot Cafe is going to have a number of different offerings up here. You can, of course, order things like turkey club sandwiches, but then they have lots of different small bites to eat as well, and fresh juices. You get that premium ju uh, drink package. You can order those freshly squeezed juices every single day. If you don't have a drink package, you, of course, can purchase them for a cost. As we continue to walk on the main pool deck, you do have the pool bar here on my left. That is a full service bar. So if you are looking for things such as frozen drinks, fresh cocktails, beers, wines, liquor, you're gonna be able to get those right there. And as we saw up above, this is the main pool deck. So you've got two pools as well as two hot tubs. You can see that there are towels that are already laid out on the chairs. With some mainstream cruise lines, you have to check those in and out, but here on Celebrity, that's the perk of doing something a little more premium. They are there ready for you to have the best day on the pool deck. Plenty of loungers here in the shade, but still right up against the windows. So you can see those beautiful views without getting sunburnt too quickly. <laughs> and then right in front of me, you do have a smoking section. So there's a smoking section here on the main pool deck. Now to my left, you do see this kind of stage area. This is another area up on the ship where they're going to have live entertainment. They do deck parties out here. So they have an amazing full moon white night up here on the deck where this transforms into a full dance floor. Throughout the cruise, you'll also have a lot of different musical acts up here um, playing live music for you to enjoy your time on the pool deck. One other venue out here on the pool deck I don't want to miss is going to be the pool grill. So of course, this is going to be another included fast casual restaurant where you can get things like burgers, hot dogs, turkey burgers, and then you can get some drinks up here as well. They just have basic sodas, beers, and wines. But right up here is where you can be able to enjoy lots of grilled items. And then they do have tables for you to sit at while you eat your food. We've got life jackets there for the little ones if they need those while here on the Millennium. We are now gonna take a walk inside we're gonna check out a lot more food. Now to my right, you do have those glass elevators. So again, the midship elevators here on deck number 10, and then the midship stair bank. The bathrooms are located to my left. So if you are needing a bathroom while you're here grabbing food, men's and women's restrooms are located right outside the buffet. The buffet, like on all other celebrity ships, is called Ocean View Cafe. So of course, they do have a number of different things to eat here in the buffet. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then they do have ice cream right here until 10 p.m. each night. They will have pizza, pasta, and salad also open late night. 
but the buffet is quite large. It does kind of go around in a giant circle. You'll see drink stations throughout. So of course, complimentary coffee, water, and then some juices are there. And then lots of places to sit and eat. You got hand washing stations throughout as well. That's another staircase to be able to go up and down. That's more of the aft section of staircases. And at the very back here, this is where we're gonna find the pizza, pasta, and some of the salad bar that will be open until really late at night. So you've got that pizza right here. And then a lot more offerings. There's, they've had a lot of Asian inspired foods since we are here in Japan. And of course, they will have a deli station. They've had Mexican. They've had a lot of different um, options here in the Ocean View Cafe since we've been on board. Stepping into the back, you do have the outdoor section of Ocean View Cafe. So again, additional seating is out here. This is my favorite part of the ship for a sail away because you just feel like you are so close to the water. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. Again, let me know in the comments what port you think we are at in Japan. One of the last venues that I do want to point out here is the Sunset Bar. So this is another full service bar where you can get things like beers, cocktails, wines, and that is found at the very back of the buffet. It's easy to miss this bar if you never come to the buffet or if you don't walk all the way to the back because a lot of people don't realize that it's out here. But do not miss having a drink out here on the back of the ship and enjoying beautiful sail away views that you can't catch anywhere else. Let's head on down a few more decks. We have come down a few decks to deck number five. Now decks six through nine are all stateroom decks. Deck number five though, we are in the very back again of the ship and right here towards the back of the ship, you do have Blue. Blue is of course the restaurant that is for aqua guests. If you've known, if you've watched our channel for a while, you know that this is one of our favorite places to eat on the ship across the celebrity fleet. This is open for breakfast and dinner, and is of course just for those aqua class guests. So this is a specific restaurant. It focuses a little bit more on clean eating. If you're not an adventurous eater, it might not be the place for you to come and eat, but we do love blue. You've got a bathroom here, the ladies' bathroom, right outside that restaurant. Men's will be directly across. And of course, like I said, the elevator bank and the stairs towards the back of the ship. And on the other side, you do have one of the floors of the Metropolitan Restaurant. Metropolitan Restaurant is, of course, the main dining venue here on the Millennium. So this is the restaurant that will be open for breakfast, lunch on sea days, and then every single night for dinner. This is the complimentary or included restaurant for everyone on the ship. They serve a lot of delicious food and they do have views here towards the back of the ship that are completely unmatched. Walking out of the Metropolitan Restaurant, we are now walking into Cellar Masters, which is one of several bars that are here on the lower decks. Cellar Masters is technically the wine bar on board. So if you are looking for a specific wine or would like to talk to someone about wine, this would be the bar to come to. This is another area where you're going to have live music, but this is a little bit of a quieter lounge setting. And there is another specialty restaurant that is housed here in this area and that is Sushi on Five. Sushi on Five is another restaurant that is an upcharge or a paid for restaurant experience. They will have sushi here and then they do have two specialty dinners. One that is specific to Japanese food because we are in Japan and then one that is specific to Indian food. We've done the Indian food experience and it is very, very good. If you like Indian food, ask if the Taj X experience is available on your ship. Here on the Millennium, they do have it. Coming out of Sushi on Five, you do have a walkway that is going to take you into the Grand Plaza area. So that's where we're headed to right now. There is, again, men's and women's restrooms on either side of this area. So we've got the men's restrooms right over here. You do have stairs that will take you up to deck six or down to deck number four. Then you have this beautiful area that's a great place for pictures that you can look over decks three, four, and five. We're gonna explore all of this here in the next few minutes. But we're gonna walk around this side of deck five. Here are those glass elevators that we've been seeing on every single deck. And then again, something so unique that they have here on the ship because we're in Japan. This is a pop-up Japanese cocktail bar. 
So you can see the menu right there. There's a couple of things that I love about this. The first thing is all of these cocktails are included in the classic drink package. For a long time, there's been a lot of complaints about the classic package just not having enough drinks. It is drinks up to $10, but this is open every night from 5.30 to 10.30. And then the other side is, of course, the Gelateria, which is found on all celebrity ships. But this is such a cool area. This is part of Cafe Albaccio, which is, of course, the coffee shop on board. So you can see all of the seating here is a part of the cafe. So if you've got the drink package or you're a coffee drinker, this will be where you can come to get drinks. And then all of the things here in this case are complimentary or included. They do have some snacks here as well and small sandwiches. So it's more than just sweets. If you do need a small sandwich or a small bite to eat, you can grab that here as well. You do see a piano here. So this is gonna be an area where they will do live music and then lots of additional seating here. This is another part of the ship that is really nice and quiet. If you are looking to just kind of get down to a deck it's not gonna have loud music or is a place where you can kind of just sit and quietly focus. Celebrity Innovations is going to be the internet desk here on board, so they are closed right now. There are Apple products that are available to purchase in there as well as someone to speak to if you do need assistance with all things internet. We're now walking into the shopping area, so you do have designer bags right here, and you're gonna have a number of different shops here on the Celebrity Millennium. Um, you've got the Marketplace, which this is gonna be your celebrity merch, specific Millennium merch as well, or that ship model if you do collect those. And I do just wanna scan because we did walk past something that is very important. You do have the Future Cruise Desk right there. The Future Cruise Desk is where you can book those onboard cruises. <laughs> so if you if you want to think about your next vacation or you want to start planning your next vacation, you can go there and book. And something that we love is you can still use your travel agent. So if you give them your travel agent's information, the booking goes directly to your travel agent. You still get all the perks that they offer on board. So sometimes they offer per things like onboard credit or extra perks. You can still get those booking with your travel agent and booking on board. We're walking through a lot of different shops now. Of course, there's jewelry shops. You do have Effie on board. You have watch shops. This is called Serendipity, which is gonna be watches as well as additional designer things. And then you do, of course, have things like liquor, cigarettes that you can all purchase tax-free. Shopping is very popular on cruise ships for a reason, and there's plenty of shopping here on the Millennium. They're closed because it is a port day, but if you are interested in shops, they're gonna be here on deck number five. You have restrooms right here, men's restroom, as well as a family restroom, and then you will have a women's restroom on the other side. And we are now walking into the Celebrity Theater. The theater has shows every single night of your cruise, whether it's specialty acts such as singers or violinists, and then they do have production shows as well. The theater is multi-stories, so you can get into the theater on decks four or five. This is of course the deck five entrance, and there are plenty of seating. You're not gonna wanna miss the shows on the Millennium because they are great and they have great specialty acts as well. If you don't normally go to the theater, I'd highly recommend doing that on a celebrity cruise. That was deck number five. Let's hop on down to deck number four. We have come on down to deck number four. So we are in the forward area of the ship. We are just outside of that theater. So we, of course we did just see the celebrity theater. So we're gonna walk towards the back of the ship here. Right outside the theater, you are going to have the photo gallery as well as the studio. So if you are looking to get pictures taken, you can do that here with a professional photographer. There'll be plenty of opportunities throughout your cruise to take pictures. And then they do have digital screens where you can come scan your key card and you'll be able to see those pictures there. The desk for the photography area is right here. And then just past these wooden cabinets are going to be men's and women's bathrooms. Here in this area, you are gonna have the entrance to the retreat lounge. So again, this is another area that is specific for suite guests. So this is the bar and lounge for those that are staying in a suite. And just outside that lounge, you do have the art gallery. So you can see lots of beautiful, colorful art here on the walls. This is an area where you can come and chat with Park West right here. This is their desk if you are an art collector. 
We are now walking into the casino, but I did just want to point out one really awesome area here on deck number four, and that is the outer decks. So right out here is a nice quiet area that you can come out and just enjoy the decks, especially for sale if you like it a lot quieter. This would be a, a place to come and check out because there's not a lot of people down here often. And it's just a beautiful place, again, to take in gorgeous views as you're sailing away. We are now in the Celebrity Casino, again, another area that is closed because it is a port day. Something that I love about this casino is they have a great mix of old and new slot machines. So you can see some really old slot machines there in front of me, paired with some newer slot machines as well. And then you do have a number of different tables. So plenty of tables here. The cashier is there right beyond that roulette table and they do have a full service bar in here. So directly in front of me is the casino bar. It also kind of doubles as the sports bar. You can see sports are playing and sports will typically be playing throughout your cruise while you are here. But this is the casino, pretty small, and it is normally very busy because you do have a lot of people that like to come and take their chances when they're on their cruise. You have an ATM machine right here found in the casino. So if you do need to pull cash out, you can do that right there. And now we're walking into the Grand Plaza area on deck number four. Directly in front of me, you do have the Martini Bar. This is the most popular bar, I think, for celebrity cruises. They do martini shows in here every single night. The staff is incredibly talented. Some of the best bartenders on the ship. And of course, this is maybe the busiest bar on the ship. So if you're interested in coming here, come here early for a drink you never know when you're going to be able to get a seat again. You've got a beautiful staircase here leading down to deck number three. And then the mar uh, martini bar area does kind of stretch all the way across this deck in the Grand Plaza. So you've got lots more martini bar seats right here in front of me. Those glass elevators are there on my right. And then you do have another area right out here that is a smoking section. So come out here and see this. Again, another very quiet area. You can kind of walk these decks up and down and come out here if you are a smoker. The gentleman's bathroom is directly in front of me. Women's will be on the other side. And we are now walking into the Rendezvous Lounge. The Rendezvous Lounge is another bar and entertainment space here on the Millennium. Plenty of comfortable seating all throughout this space, but this is another area where they'll do a number of different things. You'll have live music in here. They might do trivia. They might do games or game shows in here. And then you do have a full service bar there in front of me. So this does kind of stretch from side to side. You've got lots of light and glass ceilings in here. And it's just another great area to come and hang out while you're on your cruise. Walking out of the Rendezvous Lounge, you do have Lumine. Lumine is the sweets restaurant on board. This is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you are at a suite, the suites deck, the retreat lounge, and Lumine will be your places. You've got an entrance and an exit to those doors right there, close to the smoking section. You have a ladies restroom right there on my right, and then a gentleman's restroom directly across the hall from me. And this is, of course, the back section or the aft bank of elevators that we're walking past, which are close to another entrance of the Metropolitan Restaurant. So this is the deck four entrance of the main dining room that we did see up on deck number five. So that was deck number four. Let's hop on down to deck number three. We have come down one deck here to deck number three. Again, we are more in the back of the ship. You do have a specialty restaurant, the last one here, which is Tuscan Grill. This is your Italian restaurant on board. So if you are interested in Italian food or handcrafted pasta, you can get that here at Tuscan on deck number three. There are stairs to get you up to deck number four or down to deck number two. And right outside the stairwell is going to be the meeting place. The meeting place is the conference center on board. So if you are here for business or for work, there will be several conference rooms found here on deck number three. Now, deck number three does have some state rooms on it between this area and the Grand Plaza. So we're gonna hop on down to the Grand Plaza and check out the rest of deck number three. Walking out of the stateroom corridor, you can see the other side of those conference rooms there on my left. And then on my right here is going to be the ground level of the main atrium area. You have women's and men's bathrooms right here. 
These are tucked away and kind of hidden, so it's easy to kind of miss those. But walking into the Grand Plaza on deck three, you do have several very important areas, including your shore excursions desk here in front of me. So that'll be where you can book those on land adventures right there at that desk. And then you do have guest services. So guest services will be the place where you will come if you have any needs or any questions, they can help you right here. The concierge desk will be here too if you are in concierge class. You see that they do have stairs that will take you up to deck four. And then deck number three is actually where the gangway is located. So you do have people getting on and off the ship here right into the main plaza. Um, and you'll go through security and scan your card to get off the ship right there. That was our tour of the Celebrity Millennium. Let us know in the comments, have you sailed this ship before? What do you think of this ship? Is this a ship that you would sail in the future? Thanks again for watching. On your way out, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is JJ Cruz. Until next time, see ya!